Hi YouTube, uh, welcome to Wee Mark here, I'm just in my garage, got the body warmer on look because it's it's a bit chilly and pan the camera around, we even got the heater on, look at that, nice and toasty. Right, quick video for you guys, uh, I was watching uh, Colin from France, Drone On 29, I think his channel's called, can't remember now. Uh, but anyway, super nice guy, has a Meteor 350, which he's recently purchased, uh, called Gigi. Very nice name, I think it goes with the number plate. Uh, and also got a Himalayan. Now he's recently did a couple of videos uh, fitting LED lights. So this afternoon, we Mark came out to the garage and uncovered the bikes. I've swapped them round about because I plan to take Reveline here, the Honda. She's all covered up. By the way, guys, this is a great uh, cover to get off at Amazon. I think I got that for less than £15. Uh, so, I've I bought... Crikey, Mark's unshaved. Look at that. So, I bought two. So I've got an indoor cover as well, which is normally on Rebeline. So I'm planning to go out for a run in Rebeline uh, tomorrow, up D side hopefully. Because uh, the weather's supposed to be good, even though it's a bit chilly, it's supposed to be dry. So Mark will don his uh, jacket and gloves and he put the heated grips on the whole file nine yards, as you like. Anyway, before I forget and uh, for, forget? Uh, forget the purpose of this little video is the LED bulb uh, which Colin did in his videos uh, and showed us so this is the LED Anova site well, very good quality very well boxed up unfortunately we mark has undid the bumbles here now keep forgetting undid the headlight bulb and bumble and uh, undid the screws. Funny enough, I've got a screw in one side and it's like a hex bolt in the other. So possibly when I got the uh, the dealer did the, the bulb for me, they must have lost the screw. I take it. I don't know. doesn't matter. But anyway, I got my screw and I thought the screwdriver's not going to fit in there. So thankfully I had a little wee ratchet set that my ex... Uh, Lodger left behind. Uh, funny enough, he went back to France. <laughs> uh, lovely guy. Uh, anyway, so we Mark had fitted this. It's the H4 bulb by Nova Sight, and I'd been looking at another one and this one. This one was dearer on eBay. Now, however, was it 28, 40 hours later, I get a notification on eBay. This was reduced by, was it 8%, I think, which I thought, oh, we mark likes a wee bargain, so we purchased this. Now, nothing wrong with the bulb, uh, nothing whatsoever. Only problem is it won't fit in the aperture to replace the halogen 5K Halfords uh, bulb that I have. So, guys, if anybody is getting an LED light for their Meteor or... I take it all the 350J series engines. Please don't purchase the Nova Sight. Nothing wrong with the bulb, guys. Uh, it purely won't fit in the aperture. I tried every which way but loose and every which way you can. Clint Eastwood there. And said bulb would not fit in. So I will post this back if I can and I will try and get the other bulb uh, that I was looking at and see if it will fit in. Okay, put that down. So as I said, uh, we Mark's hoping to get out for a wee drive to, uh, tomorrow, maybe up Royal D side, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Hence that I've moved my bikes around, uh, and Rebeline's needing petrol, it's down to its last bar, so we'll uh, go up D side and find a petrol station, as long as it's E5. E5. I don't like putting in normal fuel. I'm a fussy bugger. Anyway, there you go guys. A wee insight uh, that the bulb would not fit in the aperture. Nothing wrong with the bulb, as I said. Just it won't physically fit into the 
into the the the, the holder uh, so uh, it might go in if you take out the two screws uh, either side it takes a filament a reflector in the middle of the bulb if you take that out it might go in but then how do you get that back in you can't so so it's it swings and roundabouts there guys uh, i'll maybe try another bulb and see if i can't return this anyway decide waits for me tomorrow i will set the alarm because the last three mornings it's been like 11 o'clock in the morning because your man's uh, retired now so you've got to take it easy with the Crohn's and the pancreatitis and this the septic arthritis in my hip you know getting older you know but i'll tell you what guys uh, that aside buying my bikes and getting out and about has been a major boost uh, to wee mark's uh, health and it's put a big smile on my face uh, so if it does that guys roll on next spring i know it's going to be a long winter but hey ho up there guys put your bike away i'll come out every month uh, start it up and give it a if, if there is a nice day hopefully i'll get them out for a run uh, that'll be uh, be good for the battery i have got a lead fitted to bumble here uh, for a battery tender but i bought the lead <laughs> but i didn't buy the battery the optimate uh, battery charger so i i will do that nearer christmas time i think what i'll do is i'll ask my brother for to buy my Amazon voucher, uh, I'll drop him a, a subtle hint and see if he uh, does that and then I can put the money towards that to buy a, a tender. Uh, bump, uh, Bumble, uh, this is Bumble, a Rebeline here uh, under the cover, uh, it's a titanium AC model, got panniers on it, heated grips obviously etc, I'll just show you the cover, cover again, uh, I got that off of Amazon guys. So if you want a cheap cover, it comes with a pouch. It's got like a reflective panel here and it's orange and black. And it's got three uh, clips at the bottom as well, guys, for attaching it. So if it was outside, which I think it's designed for, uh, then it won't blow away. And for, f f I think it was 15 pound or something like that I got it for, there was a couple of uh, percent off. So if, if that's the case, then bring it on. I'll have that. And it's a damp garage. It's an asbestos roof. I get droplets of water coming down. There was a puddle sitting on the uh, Rebeline's uh, cover the other day. Uh, and if that was the red cover that you see up there, the Oxford one, that was 50 quid, that would just soak up like a sponge. So I'm putting that underneath, and uh, I'll maybe swap them over and put that onto Bumble because... If I do go out for a run, I think I'll maybe take the Honda instead of the 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 Royal Enfield, the the Meteor, uh, purely because I, I tend to hold on. I, I want to hold on to the Meteor, and if I do upgrade uh, my next bike, it'll be the Honda that I'll sell. Uh, fancy the Rebel Eleven Hundred actually, because your man's a short arse and I can't touch the ground. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you. Oh. Uh, a shout out to Bruce. Hi Bruce down in Dunbar, Bruce Matheson. I managed to get Bumble up in the centre stand. Bloody hell, what a chav. Honest to God, my insides, because uh, I'm weak in there. Oh me. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know how your grandma did it. <laughs> hey ho, I think it's practice. We'll, we will have to practice it, but I had six attempts to get it up and my insides was pulling like crazy. But anyway. It's up in the centre stand. Uh, I've got a coat of Carnuba polish on it. So after my ride tomorrow, I'll maybe come into the garage and uh, I'll buff up the Carnuba. Uh, and then I need to get the chain and everything cleaned. But, uh, th there you go. We Mark is just rambling a heap of shit in his garage. Now, uh, I've got some cleaning supplies. Can I? I don't know if I can turn this over just before I go while I'm yapping. I have some stuff up here that I've got. Uh, that's a chain cleaner that I bought. A silicon spray. I've got bumper gel. And I've got a bike cleaner there. And obviously I've got stuff for my car. Uh, leather cleaner and all that. Uh, you see the sponge. And my little wee sticker board that I've got. There's some things there. I've got a timer and 
everything for lights outside. Yeah, but it's a damp garage, guys. It's a damp garage. So up here, there's another. I've got my uh, my radios under there, guys. It's currently. I don't know if you can see that. 11 degrees in the garage. 11.2 it says. So my Carnuba wax of choice uh, is the Colonite 476S. And this is a big one. Uh, it's not the shiniest, guys. But they, they nicknamed it the Winter Wax because of its protection. And I've recently been using this Maguire's ceramic uh, stuff. Uh, it got, gets a good write-up. Now, the videos on YouTube show the guys doing it, but there was a couple of guys said, no, don't do it this way. Do it like it's polish. Put it on, buff it up, let it dry, and uh, get your big duster and buff it up. But just do a couple of panels at a time. Don't leave it to sit for hours and hours, else you won't get it off. Uh, I'm a great believer in waterless washing wax. Uh, so, um, this is stuff I got off a, one of the shopping channels. Uh, I have bought more. So, this is what we Mark uses to clean his bike. Uh, this was Reynolds stuff, I think, M Sport or something. M Sport's more BMW, but it said it was Reynolds based. Uh, anyway, and there's Carnuba in it. So, I spray that on and clean my bikes with that. Uh, and I've also, as a top of rubber... I've got this Chemical Guys P40 detailer, which if the bike's dusty, it's just a, a, a detailer, you can spritz on and buff it up. So that is great on the tank because it's quite shiny, that stuff. And both of these items, uh, the Maguire's and the Chemical Guys P40, I think this was like £21, and I think I got that for eighteen ninety nine. And I've been using that quite heavy, heavy handed, so it um, I'll get a whole season out of it for the bike. So for me, that's that's good stuff. And I've an, an old lax, uh, no, it's not. It's a paracetamol liquid paracetamol bottle that I got when I was working as a nurse before I got medically retired. This is Mare Car Polish. I think it's it's up there somewhere. I think you can nub off the Flymo, which hasn't been used for three years. Uh, it's up there, a uh, three litre bottle, uh, I like my, my mare. I've also got the ACF 50 guys, uh, for treating, and chain lube there, and I've also got a ceramic auto glim uh, as well. My Honda guys was coated with a ceramic coating. Uh, off a of YouTube, this is Nasacol ZR53. So I, I coated, when I got the Honda brand new, I coated the bike with this. I came out and took, I think it took me uh, two days, uh, a morning and an afternoon session to coat my bike because at that time I was still, ex any exertion was just exactly exhausting me. So I took my time and wanted to apply it properly. So that is on the Honda and it's supposed to be very good. So I think that was about £80 for that wee bottle and there's still about a third of it left. So I, I should really have coated the, the bumble with that. Well, I did. The bottom end of the frame and the underneath that I could get my, my little fingers into. Uh, and that is basically it, guys. Oh, I've got my glass cleaner, uh, Nil Fisk. So when I come home, quick spray with my... I've got a wad of... You know your microfiber cloths, guys. A load of them. So when I come home, the front of the bike, the headlight... The fly screen and uh, the headlight and my visor and my helmet, it gets a coating, guys, uh, and cleaned with that. Uh, so the bugs don't, you know, harden on. And I find it just easier. So, enough rambling, guys. Uh, I'm just talking a lot of shite, but uh, hopefully you've enjoyed. So basically, th that Nova Sight bulb, guys, uh, please don't buy that one. And I have nothing wrong with the quality of the bulb. It's just purely, uh, it doesn't fit in that mature of the, the, the meteor. Uh, so I'll look into getting another one. Okay, guys. Uh, your wee man's needing a, a bit of a haircut and a, and a shave. I wondered if I'd grow a beard. What do you think, guys? 
leave a comment down below. Anyway, uh, I'm going in to get a nice cup of tea and I'm going to sit down uh, and watch some YouTube. So take it, uh, I'm getting tongue tied here, take it easy guys and enjoy and if you get a nice day, get the bike out. Okay, bye guys.